executive session. Any items of business coming out of executive session? Practice Next item on the agenda is to approve or amend the meeting minutes. March 19th, 2019. So, any questions? Any discussion? <coughs> board meeting minutes? There are none. Call the vote. Mr. Bates? Yes. Mr. Long? Yes. Mrs. DeTore? Yes. Next up is presentation of the financial statement. Financial statement, month ended 31st March 2019 in the general fund. Beginning fund balance on March 1st, $1,943,017.55. Personnel expenditures, $390,625.19. Vouchers, $172,035.08. Total expenditures of $562,660.27. Revenue in the amount of $29,592.89. For the ending fund balance on March 31st, in the general fund of $1,409,950.17. In the land improvement fund, the beginning fund balance on March 1st, 2019, in the amount of $1,866,887.66. Expenditures in the amount of $6,024.25. Revenue, $20,230.93. For an ending fund balance on March 31st of $1,889,094.34. In the retirement reserve account, beginning fund balance of $85,227.74. Revenue in the amount of $168.85. For an ending fund balance of $85,396.59. In the Park Capital Reserve account, beginning fund balance of $617,436.02. Revenue of $1,223.19. For an ending fund balance of $618,659.21. In the K9 fund, beginning fund balance of $1,828.61. Revenue of $50, expenditures of $90 for an ending fund balance of $1,788.61. Any questions on the financial statement? If not, it will be entered into the record. Moving on to vouchers, bills paid. Entertain. Okay. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Any questions on vouchers? It was that motor you guys bought. It was uh, one of the larger, like, walk behind us, like 60 inches, I think. Where do you use those, generally? Um, that we actually got um, for uh, some of the newer parks, like Clarendon, with the bigger lawn spaces, and also at Big Creek here, we run into some areas that if you take the heavy mowers on it early in the year, it tears them off because it's wet. So we're using them on some of the roads and the ditches and that, too, where it's a little bit lighter. Moving on to old business. Two thousand nineteen aggregate stolen materials bid for the portion of the memo. It is recommended that the Board of Park Commissioners accept the lowest and best bid as submitted from the Shelley Company for all ODOT number three oh four limestone and recycled materials. Also for ODOT ones and twos limestone and type C limestone at, at three park district locations at all three park district locations, as well as ODOT 411 limestone at the South Operations location. Secondly, it is recommended that the Board of Park Commissioners accept the lowest and best bid as submitted
from the Orange Trucking Company for all ODOT screening. Screenings number 10 limestone and ODOT recycled ones and twos at all three park district locations. It's also recommended that the Orange Trucking Company bids for ODOT number 411 limestone be accepted for North Operations, Big Creek Park, and West Operations. Entertain a motion to bring it to the table for discussion and questions. So moved. Second. Thank you. So essentially, in summation, if you, if you look at the, the bid tabulation sheet all the way down through, from we took the time to award, we are taking the time to award uh, potentially to the lowest bidders in all areas. Any questions? Yeah, I just uh, I'm, I'm curious as to I, I wasn't um, I guess I didn't didn't uh, realize that companies will uh, bifurcate their their bids that way so that you can break it up. Well, we asked them to bid actual items, so we had unit prices on different items. That's how it, it wasn't like just a lump sum, so it's five. No, no, I think I I, I, I just wasn't uh, it didn't I mean, not usually what you do is just. One big bid. That's okay. I'm just curious. I think you've done it the same path. Yeah, this is how we typically did it. Um, and really, it has to do with just at different times we're ordering maybe 20 yards of this material or you know 50 yards. So we kind of we'll, we know we're going to use probably over 50,000 for the year, but we don't know sort of exactly how that's going to break out. Yeah, another reason we break it out too is, is the location of our parks, so that the trucking component affects the bid. I mean, it's, it's, it's good, I just, uh, it, it's sure. a lot more work, but it saves us money. Yes. So that's actually a good thing. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> All right, take the vote to award this contract. Um, this is the Tory. Yes. Mr. Bates? Mr. Bates. And Mr. Law? Yes. Okay, thank you. Next up is a, just a brief update. Um, was able to move forward with a request for qualifications for <coughs> for the provision of catering services, for management services for catering and food, and or food service operations at the former Wicked Woods Banquet Facility. So uh, I provided that document to you. It has been distributed um, to, through email, to tw through 12 different emails. We have had some interest and some inquiries. We had an on-site meeting last Wednesday at the facility had three different firms show up to look at the facility. Um, so I'm hopeful that by the deadline of Friday, May 3rd, we will receive a response to our request for qualifications. So, um, I have a few things yeah. about this. Um, and I briefly touched base uh, with John regarding this. I really feel like this is something that I know that we are excited to get moving on, but I don't want it to be something that we get bound to that is not what we want. And if, if somebody comes back and, you know, I don't think we should settle on something that because they have two of the three things that we've asked for, or, you know, three of the five, just because this company had the most thing. No, we are looking for something very specific. If somebody doesn't want it, we don't want to get bound into something that, you know, puts us in a contract for year two, three, that isn't what we're looking for, what our mission and objectives are with this building. With that being said, I mean, I would like to propose that if we don't see what we have on May 3rd, we go back to the drawing table, we, you know, we make sure that every single thing, we talk with other organizations, I know that you've talked with, you know, Metro Park, Cleveland Metro Parks, other people that are doing this, but I just don't want to rush it because I don't want this building to be something that only an elite few can go to or a select few. I, I want there to be packages for everybody. If there is just an a la carte thing where somebody wants to have a, a Kiwanis meeting and they just want a thing of bakery, and that's fine. You don't have, you know, or if you want to have lunch and sandwiches, if there's something 10 or 15 bucks that's within reason. And that you could get that blown out wedding if you want, you know, and it could be much higher scale. But to make sure that we really have an option for everybody. And if somebody isn't willing to do make good, better, best, or, you know, 
then that's not, I mean, in my eyes, it's not something that I want to go with. On the flip side of that, I also don't want to be waiting around 30, 60, 90 days. I'm curious if you guys would be interested in opening up 30 days of until we have something that we want and maybe we open up, you know, three or four weeks at a time to allow people to use this room while we're working through and navigating. I don't want to open up the whole summer because if we do